Hi guys, Heather here. Today's video topic comes from Sarah, and she was wondering about interpretation of EKGs. Nice topic, Sarah. This will be super fun, guys. Well, maybe I exaggerated a little bit, but first you have sinus rhythm with the classic P, Q, R, S, and T waves. Most of you probably have this rhythm, and this is what it looks like. Have you ever felt your heart skip a beat, like when you're in love, or maybe you've had too much caffeine, not enough sleep, or you're stressed? Well, I don't know about the love part for sure, but all the other factors can cause PVCs in healthy people, which isn't really a problem unless you're having too many of them or you have some heart condition. And it kind of looks like this. And then VTAC, they have really, really wise complexes. And some patients will have a few of these from time to time, which aren't really serious, but you still need to let the doctor know. The heart can't pump effectively with sustained VTAC. So if you see this rhythm on your patient's monitor, you might want to run into the room and check and see if they're okay. Just a little piece of advice. A very interesting rhythm to learn about is AFib. And some people live with this and it's okay as long as they're on digoxin, which will help control their heart rate. And with this heart condition, blood isn't always pumped out of the atria effectively. So some of the blood might be sitting there and we don't want it to start clotting. So they have to be on Coumadin, which is a blood thinner. And speaking of Coumadin, have you ever heard of it being called a rat poison? Sometimes my patients will ask me when the rat poison is due. They're so silly, aren't they? AFib doesn't have any P waves, so it's kind of like a squiggly line, and the R wave, which is the long spike that sticks up, they're not measured equally. And here's what AFib looks like. One time in nursing school, I was listening to my patient's heart rate and feeling their pulse, and it sounded and felt irregular, so I was like, this has to be AFib. But I was wrong, they totally tricked me. It was sinus rhythm with PACs, which are premature atrial contractions, and it totally sounds and feels like AFib. So make sure you check your telemonitors because if there's a P wave, then it's not AFib. And if you don't have a telemonitor, then maybe just check the history or a past EKG in the chart to see what the rhythm's been. I had this patient the other night, and he came from the ER with an EKG showing sinus tachycardia. So I listened to his heart and I felt his pulses and they were definitely irregular. I went to the telemonitor to see if it was AFib or sinus rhythm with PACs and I couldn't see any P waves. So we got an EKG and it confirmed AFib. The heart rate was about 110 to 130s and that could be common with AFib. You could have a really high heart rate and it's very inconsistent. Oh, and one little piece of advice. If your patient has AFib, don't always go by what the vitals machine says because the vitals machine on my patient said that his heart rate was in the 80s and that just totally wasn't true. The machine for some reason has a hard time detecting AFib's heart rate accurately. Not sure why, but I've just found this to be true. Well guys, that's it for today. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.